am your host, the King Shadow. Welcome to another No Excuse Reactions. Please do like and subscribe, leave a comment, share me out. Now, this episode, <clears throat> the choices you make, ladies, the choices you make. So, a uh, common thing is uh, girls want the loyalty or the money. And you can't have both. It's a hard find. You dig? So, I got a couple clips here that's going to show some of that. And we'll talk about it. All right, let's get it. Would you prefer a tall guy, but he's broke, or a short guy, like short, but he's loaded? Tall. Tall and broke. All right, tall and broke. Tall and broke. I'll make money, though. So. Oh, <laughs> oh you'll, you'll be the sugar mama. Okay, all right, we love it. All right, what about you? I would say tall and broke. Tall and broke. <laughs> tall and broke, but the poor short guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. We still love the Short Kings, all right? We still love the Short Kings, all right? We still love... Now, see, I was at a college or something like that. And all them girls chose the tall and broke dude. Now check it out, there was all white girls. They taught. They, you know, tall, loyal, and broke. Nigga ain't gonna be broke all the time. You get what I'm saying? They understood that. So they all went for the tall. <laughs> now, that's usually the preference on a lot of females that they went tall. You know what I mean? Like anything over six feet. So, but it doesn't mean they go, don't go after the short boys. You feel me? The short boys just got to do a little bit more. The taller guys got, got it in a little bit. You know what I mean? But, as you see, y'all chose tall. Hey. I know what no he does to somebody. I know what it does, but have you seen what he does to somebody? It's far worse. It's far worse. He ain't never lie. So, what he was trying to get to on that concept right there. <coughs> a guy would do a lot. And that do me a lot. Just to get some. But, Hello. But, but he got it? Oh my god. It's like having a possessed animal in your house all the time. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, and don't nobody else touch his shit. That nigga will lose his shit. We already have like tons of incidents in the world where, you know, pussy made motherfuckers go crazy and then next you know we had a fucking world war. Hey, you don't know the power you have, lady. A thousand dollars or you get to spend the day with me, which you choose. I won't be offended. A thousand bucks. A thousand. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, give me the money. Okay. <laughs> she thick, but, um. Give me the money. They gotta tell you something, okay? A day with you is not nearly as good as having an extra thousand in your pocket. You feel me? You sick, but a day with you is still gonna end up as a headache. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She looked for the validation instead, she got the wrong answer. Give me the money. <laughs> Marriage? Yes. Are you ready? Listen, listen, you paired the two Africans in the room together. Is this red yet? <laughs> why? Why do why? I brought up marriage. I'm ready. You can't take a joke, you little I don't, to be honest, I didn't understand her humor, so I didn't know if it was a joke or not. You don't like funny women? I do, but that didn't make me <laughs> no, laugh. No, you don't. <laughs> that didn't make me laugh. Alright, let's check that one real quick, okay? So she thought she was making a funny joke about marriage when in a literal blind date show scenario, okay? When she thought she was making a joke about marriage, instantly got her ass red buttoned and kicked. You feel me? And then she wanted to be popping bad at dude, like, well, you don't like funny girls? I didn't see it as funny. It wasn't humorous for me. You feel me? And then she, she said, hey, you don't like funny women? I like funny women, but that wasn't funny. 
Oh no, you don't. Why, why do you girls do that? Okay. You're not mind readers. You don't understand the male psyche because you don't listen enough. So, stop saying that you know what a man who turned you down wants. He turned you down. So obviously you're not as funny as you think. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, your attitude right there that you showed right there, he made a right choice. He didn't even have to see you. Just hear you. Damn. Last board, bros. You guys want to hear a success story? Look what I pulled from the old country. Right? It's great. She doesn't even speak English, so I don't have to listen to her. He thought it was cracking a joke with that. But you know there's a serious problem with that issue he has right there. Guarantee she won't be around later because she's gonna be smacking it with somebody else. Let me let me break it down for you, wait man. Okay. You went across seas and you got a tidy yachty from across seas. Okay, cool. Now, here's the kicker, baby. <laughs> here's the kicker. She's fine. Okay. I'll give her that, you know, she's taking right areas. You said she doesn't speak a lick of English. Does that stop anybody that comes over here to absorb the bullshit? No. Then the fact is that if you're not fluent in that language, communication barrier, bruh. Communication is key. So, where you up here trying to tell her to do something for you, she don't, uh, por qué? <laughs> you feel me? You went after the same shit you left the states for. Are you sure? That's gonna be loyal. You better not have a poor boy. You better not have a maiden man come through. You better not have no men come through. Because guarantee you, somebody else is gonna be clapping them cheeks. Not just you, buddy. Guarantee. That betting, sir. That bet. Bad. People, if you're going across seas, Make the right choice, not the same choice. Come on. Body count. Mm. 55. Really? Mm. How I'll old are you? 56. How old are you? 21. That's enough internet for me today. 50 bodies at 21. You're a whore. Okay. You can't say oh, all those relationships. No, you just don't pussy around when you were younger, okay? Shit, you had you had to start at like 13, 14, and just kept throwing your pussy around. That is just amazing. And if you didn't start that early and you started later, that's even worse. Man, do the numbers in the time frame, man. You are nasty. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's Instagram what kind of famous. Is that? What kind of question is that? Come on. Should I hang out tonight or what? I don't know where we're going next. Should I go to my crib? I'm a nurse. Like I don't think I should have you on video. You want to hang out in my crib or what? what where's your crib? I'm staying at the Omni right now. At the Omni? Like, give, me, give me your number. Take my number. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get that number. I'm just trying to chill. I don't do that. All right. That ain't going to work. I, I don't do that. That ain't like, going to work. You want to no. Do you know who I am? I don't care. We don't care. Mm, cloud chasing, whore. Oh, I'm a nurse. I shouldn't be on here. I'm a shouldn't be on here. Oh, you internet famous? You TikTok famous? Oh, okay. Yeah, she wanted some money. So, 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 where your room at? Like, Angela going to the room. Oh, so you coming to the room? Oh, we clapping? <laughs> am I clapping? Oh, no, I don't do that. <laughs> Didn't. No. Bye. Okay. <laughs> What you throwing it at me for? Just to be around me and get some money? Nigga, fuck you. Bye. <laughs> hey, man, did the right thing. You feel me? Bitch, try to get him caught up on some bullshit. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Bye. <laughs> okay? Be sincere. That's all. Be sincere. I know she probably was a little drunk, but be sincere because uh, you paused once you found out he was TikTok famous and backtrack and try to get at that hard. Yo. How do you feel about online dating? It's fun. I only do it for validation. Girl, you have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I used to. 
Hey yo, that shit was sincere. She still does that shit with her boyfriend around. That validation monster. Mm-hmm. This is why I don't, you know, I don't accept that whole social media and being online and shit and doing all that rah rah and shit online when you with a nigga because uh, you too much tempted to do stupid shit. She just proved it. Damn. I hope the boyfriend is here because he, he, she's about to get kicked. Stay with a cheating millionaire boyfriend or be with a broke loyal guy. Keep it a hundred, man. That's a hard one, huh? Keep it a hundred. He's giving you the lifestyle. He's amazing, great connection, but from time to time he steps out and cheats. But is it it's cheating? like an open relationship? Yeah, is this no, open close on your end, open on his end. That's <laughs> Why can't I have one? Why you gotta be broke? <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Can we phone a friend? No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, look at, don't look at her. Don't look at her. She, she can't help you. Uh, so the connection's there. On the connection's there on both sides, broke. but he's just broke and the other like guy's giving you everything you want. He just, from time to time, time, I'll, time, I'll, I'll take the I'm in there that cheats. I'm whatever. taking the cheater too. Yeah. <laughs> broke and loyal or rich and cheating? The choices you make. Like these two, two girls went for the money. She are, they already plotting on doing something stupid. You know what I mean? On that money, so. They wouldn't have been around that situation for long if they, they actually got in a situation like that. <coughs> but here it go. You go for the nigga that got, <coughs> they got the money now. <coughs> he give you everything you want, but he cheating on you. He's throwing bitches back left and right. And you can't do shit. You really want that? Or, would you want the bro going on nigga right now? And then you two to get together. And he strives for something better because he has you. And he wants a family. Some guys actually get that as a motivational. As motivation, you feel me? When they actually link up with someone and want a family and shit like that there. They actually get motivated to hustle a little harder. Okay? They actually get motivated to do a whole lot more. And then they eventually become the rich person. So, ask that question again with a proper perspective. You might have chosen that loyal nigga. Maybe poor now. But poor doesn't last all the time, especially if you got some hustle in you. They might be poor now, because they ain't have the drive. Some women are supposed to be muses. You're supposed to influence the person, especially your significant other, to do more. See, this is where you all don't know your roles. You gotta get your shit together. So this has been in my clips and in my video. So please do like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later, Dave. Let's go!